Hey guys, welcome back to this. Not my intro for Vlogmas. <laughs> it's Vlogmas Day 22. It's the 21st of December for me. Uh, Jesse's over here on the slide. I'm cooking a pizza in the oven for dinner. It's dinner time. It's almost five, I think. Yeah, it's like it's about 15 to five. I didn't film any today much. Maybe a clip or two of Jesse, because it's just easier when Catherine's here for me to not film. <laughs> Cause, you know, I don't want to expose her to the world. Jesse's my kid, so it's my choice, but Catherine's not, so. But, um, yeah, he's, you gonna slide? Be careful. Slide, say wee. Be careful. Wee. Oh, wee. Sit down. Sit down. I'm trying to film you do something and you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> this is the first time today we've had his cartoons on. Uh, I watched a little bit of Grey's Anatomy earlier. And Catherine watched something, I think. I can't remember. But I just now turned his show on. Oh, when I played the game, I played Skyrim a little bit. But, um, I did run a little bunch of errands today, but it was just grocery shopping and paying, you know, regular monthly bills. I gotta go next week and pay the rent for January before New Year's, because it's due on New Year's Day. Something else. I don't remember. I have to look at my calendar. He's laying down there now. Hello. He lives there in East a lot. He has eaten some cereal earlier. He asked for cereal. He loves Cheerios. <clears throat> the purple and white box. I didn't want like, the whole grain or whatever. But he sits there and eats it. It's so cute. But yeah, I'm cooking a pizza for dinner. My nose like that. <laughs> I gotta film my. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. I gotta film my crochet talk. I may actually have to film it after Jesse goes to sleep. Because, uh. I don't know if I'll get to film it otherwise. My hand's asleep. I'm sitting here. I fell over the baby gate yesterday. That's my only scar. I think I talked about that in yesterday's. I can't remember if I mentioned it. But I tripped over the baby gate. and That's the only boo-boo I got from it. Which is good. What's funny is my mom actually yesterday, earlier in the day, she tripped over the baby gate at her house too. She got more hurt than I did. She hurt her leg pretty bad and hit like right through here on the door frame. And this, I think, is feeling better, but her leg is still hurting a lot. She's actually going to go to the doctor. It's not funny, but it's just ironic that we both happened to trip over a baby gate in the same day. But uh, it was that baby gate right there that I tripped on. But his big ball that's right here whoop, saved me from getting more hurt because it was laying right beside that gate. And when I hit my toe caught on the top of it, and when I tripped, the gate de detached from the wall, and we both fell onto that ball and like I slid off the side of the ball with the gate and I hit this end of the couch right there with my elbow and then the bottom of it like right through here but uh this muscle here got overextended a little bit for like a few hours last night it hurt but now it's fine it's so fun it's just this thing hurts like bad it's like a carpet burn and it's right where it bends so every time I bend my arm it hurts but you know it's better than having a broken something or whatever Jesse's little forehead is purple but he just, he tripped over a green ball. He's got a lot of them. I don't know if you can see it. The little purple right there from where he fell. He face planted out into the ground. <laughs> that was like an hour ago. Again, that's not funny, but it's just ironic that we're all falling. And tripping. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to babble until the uh, pizza gets done in because I didn't film a lot. Um, I think I said I was going to babble, but then I forgot what I was going to say. It is the 21st, so it's four days away from Christmas. Three days away from my first Christmas, technically, because we're having my side of the family's on Christmas Eve. <clears throat> Around this time, it's going to be like 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. <sighs> my throat's bunny. I got a tonsil stone. I get tonsil stones all the time. I don't think I'll care. <laughs> but, um, and then Christmas Eve night, after we leave my sisters, we're going to go to Devin's dad's, because they do, um, that big cellophane ball. It's like a bunch of random stuff wrapped up and each person gets a turn to like pull pull from it to, and then everything that falls out of it they get to keep. 
They put a bunch of candy and things in it, plus a bunch of gag gifts. Like uh, feminine hy hygiene products, uh, lint rollers, cat treats, things like that. It's funny. But also candy and like toy cars and socks. Just random little goodies that they're generic for the people who get them. Usually, the last, last year I gave all my candy to Cat, I think. Except for like some bubble gum. <laughs> But yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're hoping to go to Sis and Christmas Lights Saturday night, but it all depends on if Devin's stepmom has to work. She has a night job. She has a day job and a even you know evening night job. So hopefully she does it. But if she even if she does, we might go just as a family, me, Devin, and Jesse. <clears throat> Cause I'd like to go see some Christmas lights and let him you. see one. There's a place near us that has one that you could park and then get out and walk around in, and it's really cool. And there's also, in a city about 45 minutes from us, there's two big drive through ones. They claim to be, like, two of the biggest ones in the United States. Not the biggest, but two of the biggest. And they're both in the same town. So I thought about going to those. One's $15 per car, and one's $25 per car. But the one where you could park and get out is $4 a person, but Jesse would be free. So it would be only $8 for me and Devin to go. Plus, they have concessions. <laughs> they have hot chocolate and um, snacks and drinks, you know, anything like that. I think they actually have food, too, if you want to, like, eat. But, uh, one year, it was the year I was pregnant or the year before that. <laughs> so, it was 2014 or 15. When we went, it was $3 a person. And when we was walking around, we found a $5 bill on the ground. So, it was only technically a dollar for us both to get in that night. So, it was cool. But they went up since it's four dollars per He's over there now. Coming. He really wants some pizza. I mentioned it for dinner, and now he's he's in the he's little. When he saw me get it out of the freezer, he said pizza, pizza. He wanted it real bad, but I told him I had to cook. And then when I came back in here. He came in here and he looked all confused, and he was like pizza. And I was like, it's gotta cook. <laughs> cook. So yeah, it's gotta cook. 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 We're waiting for it to cook, huh? Yeah. Tomorrow is Devin's last day of work. Cat! It's cooking. We have to wait for it. Mama can't make cooking any faster. Anyways, tomorrow is Devin's last day of work. Um, for the holiday season. He'll be off after tomorrow. He'll be off until the third. Yeah, he'll go back the third, I think. January. I guess I'll hop off here. I babbled for eight minutes. <laughs> so what you doing? Yeah. You go. Yeah. Okay. Ah, sit down. You're making me nervous. Whoop. I really want to go. That look at him. You got your ball? You're so cute. You got that pizza on your face. Chew it up good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> to Jesse's Mulock. Uh, it's really dark in here. It's always dark in my kitchen. Turn on this crazy white light. <laughs> um, I just filmed my No Catchy Name. It is producing. Makes it sound fancy. <laughs> But it's producing. This is the editor I use, by the way. I don't know if anyone's interested, but it's a paid-for one, so I don't know. I really don't know if anyone's just a little interested in it now. Oh gosh, it's not even on there. <laughs> I'm just going to try to click the name. It's called Cyberlink Power Director. It's right hither. Where's the camera at? Can you read that? I don't know if you can read that. I don't even know if that was on the screen. <laughs> Anyways, I bought it when it was on a really good sale and really close to my face. Um... It's really awesome. I like it. I've been learning more and more things that I can do with it since getting it. There's Jesse's head. He's drinking his milk. <laughs> I want to get him off the bottle. Oh gosh. But I'm terrified of doing it because I know he's going to throw fits uh, when that time comes. But yeah, it's producing and then I will upload it and it'll be out tomorrow. It's a little dark and gloomy because, you know, it's nighttime right now. I didn't have a chance to film earlier because Catherine was here and 
uh, next Thursday will be the same way, and then after that, the first Thursday of January, <laughs> uh, we'll be back to normal. Should be. It is 7.19. Hopefully, Jesse will want to go to bed soon. <laughs> And hopefully he'll sleep like he did last night. He slept really good. I actually had to wake him up this morning to get him out of bed because I had errands to run. And usually he wakes up around 7.30 lately, but today it was 8 o'clock and he still wasn't awake. So I had to go wake him up. Which is kind of sad. I hated doing that. But I'm about to clean up the kitchen. Clean up dinner. And then this is from earlier. <laughs> the reason I didn't load it already is because the dishwasher has clean dishes in it. And I hate emptying the dishwasher. That's like the worst chore ever in my opinion but yeah we're just gonna there's not a lot today but that's all right it's okay if it's short i don't mind <laughs> it won't take me as long to edit it <laughs> we're just going to clean up a little bit and chill out in the living room until he wants to go to bed he's so stinking cute what are you doing down here buddy you're drinking your milk on your slide He's chilling in the floor. He was eating cereal there earlier. Actually, I think I mentioned that. There's like a really weird glare right there. Do you guys see that? Right there. <laughs> I don't know what that's from. Weird. He's watching cartoons still. This is a really weird one. It sometimes just starts just weird glares. <laughs> it's from that weird light in the kitchen. But yeah, we're just going to hang out on the floor until he gets tired and then I'm going to get him to sleep. And then once he goes to sleep, I'm going to clean the tub because there's crown marks all over it from his bath grounds. Clean the kitchen up. I might go do that right now. And then I'm going to sit here and edit this video and try to get it uploading tonight. I've been bad at uploading it. I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> Uh, that they've been coming out random times in the evening and stuff, but it's just because life gets in the way, you know. Vlogmas is almost over. Today's 21st. Right? So, there's like 10 more days. Well, I'll, yeah, 10, because I will, I will film the first day of January, too, because it's, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll probably film some of January, at least, because of New Year's. I'm hoping that we can stay up till New Year's, you know, obviously not Jesse, but me and Devin. Um, we'll have to get chocolate milk, because we always, we toast every year with chocolate milk. We do drink wine now. We didn't used to. We've, that's like a new thing that we've acquired. Um, but it's traditional for us to drink chocolate milk, and it's, it's an inside story, so I won't show you that. But chocolate milk is sentimental to Devin and I. And uh, so we always toast chocolate milk. The very first year that we were together on New Year's night, it was December 31st. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I was in the, the town next to us where my sister lives because I lived at her at the time. Um, Devin was at his dad's still. He still lived at home. And um, I was going to meet Devin, you know, for New Year's and spend the night with him or whatever. And uh, because of the chocolate milk, the reason that chocolate milk is sentimental to us. I thought, hey, I'm going to run into the store and buy some chocolate milk. So I ran into Walmart and bought a gallon of chocolate milk because, you know, Walmart's always open. And then when I came out of Walmart, there's a Dollar Tree right, you know, in the same parking lot. So I went over there to get glasses, like little toast glasses, wine glasses or whatever. And when I walked in the store, she was like, we're about to close because it was... They closed at 10, I think, that night. And it was like 9.56. And I was like, I know what I'm going for. I can go grab it and come right back. And she was like, all right, since you know what you're getting, go get it. You know, I wasn't there to shop. I was there to get what I wanted and leave. So I ran and got those two glasses and checked out right before they closed. And then I drove on down to Sparta, which is where we live now, which is about a 30-minute drive. So it was cool. By the time I got there and we, you know, got situated and all that, it was practically New Year's. And we toasted with chocolate milk and we've been in it every year since. <laughs> Because it's it's sentimental or whatever. So I think it's cool that we have something like that. And it's still seven something. Duh, I just said that. <laughs> I'm always looking at my clock. Have you guys noticed that? I look at my clock constantly. I guess I'm just like that. Oh, what? Uh oh. Uh oh, what oh? What do you do? Yeah. Bye.
I had to give him a bath earlier because when we was eating pizza, he got it everywhere. I put him in his high chair. Actually, I think I made a clip. <laughs> I can't remember. But he got pizza sauce everywhere. He loves pizza. Which you would have seen yesterday when he's running around the house screaming pizza. But, um, he doesn't eat a lot of it when I make it, but he, he eats, he's eating better and that's awesome. I'm so glad he's finally eating food because there for a while I was so paranoid. Like when I was about to get him off of formula and onto whole milk and foods, I got so stressed out. I have anxiety pretty bad sometimes about just specific things and that one subject stressed me out. The fact that I was going to have to keep him alive with food and he didn't have hardly any teeth. I mean when he was one he had I think these eight, at least the four, front four. You, you could ask Devin. I was stressed to the max about what to eat. I was doing all kinds of research and everything on how to feed kids food. And I tried everything. I prayed all kinds of stuff and everything. And he finally, um, you know, he started, as he got more teeth, he started eating more. So now that he's got a lot of teeth, he's got 12, I think. Almost 13. Because that one canine is just barely poking out. Uh, he's eating a lot better. He can pretty much eat anything. And he eats a lot of stuff. Not a lot, like quantity, but like a lot of things, different things, a variety. Because usually what he eats, he only eats a little bit, but you know, his stomach's got to be pretty small. He's, he's a toddler. <laughs> but um, I'm just so glad that he's eating, because that's one thing I don't have to stress so much about, is how much food he is eating. Oh, so that got, it's an awkward angle, but it's easier than me holding it. <laughs> he's so stinking cute. But, um, I don't know where my camera is. I can not cover it up. Oh, I was going to say something. I forgot. Oh, anxiety. I know recently people were talking about, it was like World Mental Health Day or something. And I know Karen and a couple other um, YouTubers here made videos about their anxiety and stuff. And uh, I, used, I used to kind of suffer with it more when I was a teenager. I guess that's kind of typical. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, and I was kind of had depression a little bit when I was a teenager. Nothing like major, nothing serious happened to me to give me real honest to god depression but uh i haven't had a much much of it at all other than you know just random days i think everybody suffers from it from now on, now and again you know um but one thing i do have bad is anxiety <laughs> about specific subjects and one thing that i'm really get anxious about thinking about hello hello i'm filming say hello i kissed your ear um is the future <laughs> i know it sounds crazy but uh, i've actually had to quit watching news and take it all off my social media and everything the only time i ever look at anything to do with the news is if i'm looking up weather and hi baby i only do that if we're going somewhere oh or if i can tell it's about to storm or if i hear that it's gonna storm uh what are you doing you wish him on my belly um because I will get reading, Bubba, you're going to bonk your head on Mama's head. We've done that before, and it hurts. If I see news stories about, like, the wars and attacks and stuff, you're going to bonk us out. Uh, I will stress mm. to the max. Like, I will get so stressed out that I can't even function normally. And even when I was pregnant with him, or before I got pregnant, and then while I was pregnant, and right after he was born and all that, I would see certain news stories about the wars and stuff and I would get so paranoid and freaked out about it. <laughs> okay. They won't have to stop doing that. <laughs> Look there's Humpty Dumpty. That um, like pre-pregnancy I was like okay we're never going to have kids because I don't want a kid that's going to have to grow up in a world like this. And then when we finally did decide to get pregnant and then got pregnant. I would freak out and be like, oh god, well what do we do if we get attacked and uh, we can't get, you know, I can't breastfeed and he can't get formula, you know, how are we going to keep him alive? The time that he has a little formula and just things like that and it would get so bad that I would, um, I couldn't, I just had to cut news stuff like that out of my life. So now, like my mom's talked to me about something that President Trump, um, what was he doing? Something about the taxes, I can't remember now. <laughs> Uh, he's going to be changing that would actually benefit uh, people like me and Devin who are, are, you know, working middle class, lower, upper, lower middle class area, families. Um, I hadn't, I didn't even hear about it because I don't watch the news because if I watch the news, 
um, will get paranoid. It is. So the one thing that's helped me with that is to cut the news out of my life. You know, I know that if anything crazy is going on, Devin will tell me because he still does it. He's got a better control of himself than I do, apparently. And, um, that's really about the only thing that gives me anxiety other than humongous groups of people. But that seems like a normal thing. Like today when we went grocery shopping at Kroger, um, there was a ton of people there. I don't know why. I guess because it's Thursday and it's the week before Christmas. So many people there that it was actually making me anxious you know I was rushing and a lot of stuff that I was supposed to get there I didn't get and ended up going to Walmart which was less packed <laughs> still packed though but um a birdie? A birdie? Ooh, what? Ooh. he's gonna school <laughs> oh my gosh quit uh, flailing around yeah. Ooh. Yeah. you're gonna get hurt baby and then you're gonna be mad at me say hi yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was a big kiss. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to talk to them. <laughs> Anyways, that's my mental health. <laughs> Whoa. Be careful. Get your butt out of my face. Drool all over me. His butt is right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my two cents of, about my mental health. Oh, every now and then, I do have <laughs> I do have days where I get crazy because of some little people, <laughs> and sometimes. Thank you. Ah. I think I'm an overthinker. I love you so much. So when I when I come across a problem, when my life, when a problem pops up in mine and Devin's life, you know, he just thinks, oh well, this is the problem and this is how we're gonna fix it. Me, I think this is the problem and this is this is this is this is this is this is how many ways it could go even worse than it already is. So I'm an overthinker and I get paranoid easily. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm trying to work on that. I've been working with meditation. I used to meditate a lot and do yoga a lot, pre Jesse. <laughs> and um, so I'm, I'm trying to get back into meditating. I know eating better would help my mind a lot. I don't eat good at all. I used to eat a lot better than I do now, pre Jesse. I know I blame everything on my pregnancy with Jesse, but when I got pregnant with Jesse, and Devin's a huge enabler, he let me do and eat whatever I wanted because I was pregnant, you know. And uh, ever since then, it's just been you know, like a downward spiral for my health. I mean, I'm healthy. It's just I'm out of shape. And I think if I ate better and exercised, I my mental my mental being, as long as my as well as my physical being, would be better. I miss doing yoga. I miss oh. meditating. Uh -oh. Boop. I love you. And uh, I want to try to get back into that, but I'm going to have to wait probably to after the new year. Not because of new year re resolutions or anything, because I never make resolutions. You know, you need to be a better person all year round, not on January. But, um, just because of financial reasons and stuff, you know, Christmas has us kind of set back a little bit. And the fact that Devin's going to be off of work for two weeks, um, and he's only getting paid. He's going to be off of work for 11 days, and he's only getting paid for four of them, I think. So, you know, we have to work around that. Yeah. And, uh, I want Jesse to grow up eating and being healthier. I want to be able to play with him. Okay. Because this summer, he's going to be going crazy. You know, last summer we took him to parks and he just, like, toddled around and fell. Oh, my goodness. Uh-uh, we don't hit. We don't hit. You know that. You can squish my face if you want, but you can't hit it. Thank you. Look. You don't need no more milk. You just drink some milk. You can have no more milk until you go night night. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, this coming summer he's gonna be running crazy over the parks, and I want to be able to run crazy behind him. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna change. You know, I'm the one in charge of the finances and of the food. You know, every we can't eat anything unless I bring it into the house. So it should be pretty easy to cure our eating. <laughs> um, it's just I'm also a comfort eater. So, I have to work on that. So, that's, that comes back to the mental health thing. The more the more in shape my brain gets, the more in shape my body will get. Because I'm a real bad comfort eater. If I get upset, 
mad or if I get sad or stressed out or anything like that, uh, I turn to food. <laughs> Usually salty food. Like, I'm not the kind of person who eats chocolate when I'm sad. I'm the kind of person who eats potato chips and peanuts. <laughs> Just whatever is really salty. It's so cute. I love salt. I get like I feel like I could drink salt. And surprisingly, I've never had Daddy. any blood pressure issues. Daddy. Yeah. Why is that for? Anyways, I babbled for like 16 minutes, and some of y'all probably already clicked yeah. off. If you survived it this long, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go yeah. clean the kitchen and wait for him to get tired. It's about it's a little after 7:30 right now, so hopefully he'll get tired soon. And I will see you guys tomorrow, which is Friday, in my crochet talk and. Wait a minute. No, it's not. This is Friday, technically. So tomorrow will be Saturday for you guys. So there won't be a crochet talk. You just seen it yesterday. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow in another Vlogmas if you're watching Vlogmas. Which, if you're watching, I mean, you are obviously because you're watching this video. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hopped up on something apparently. But I'm going to go ahead and go clean, which I said that like 400 times. Wait for him to get tired. And then edit this video. And then go to bed. That's the plan. <laughs> I gotta get up early tomorrow too because Kat has to come an hour earlier tomorrow. But Jesse's going to Grammy and Pong tomorrow and that's been that, huh? Pong Gammy. And Catherine. He just loves Pong Gammy and Catherine. But anyways, I'm gonna go for real this time. <laughs> Bye guys.